What's going on guys? My name's Josh and I'm back today with another Scream 5 video. It's actually crazy because we got the trailer release for the new Scream movie and actually I already posted a trailer breakdown earlier today. But there's one huge thing that I missed in the trailer breakdown and that's that Tara survives the open end scene. So I want to go over that and I also want to go over the killer motivations. Why are these, why, why is the killer, what's motivating the killer to kind of kill these new characters? Now, before I get started, if you could do me a huge favor and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now you better watch out because it's time to get this video started. Let's go. So when I initially watched the trailer, I just thought, you know, especially the way it looked like, you know, it looked, the trailer made it look like, you know, Tara is going to be the open and kill. You know, we saw the killer stab her. And then we see the killer kind of, or Ghostface pretty much drags Tara off. We later then see a shot of Ghostface stomping Tara's leg. So I just kind of assumed kind of what the trailer wants you to believe that, you know, Ghostface is going to kill Tara and that's when it's going to start this movie off. But one, I got to say that is very obvious if the trailer is kind of trying to make you think that Tara dies, that is very obvious that they're trying to do that. And a lot of times with that, they're not going to make something so odd. Like even though they're trying to make that obvious, that's not going to be really what happens. And I do think, you know, she doesn't die, she survives. So the question is, how does she survive? How does she survive it? Because the ghost face definitely looks like he was on the verge of killing her if he wanted to. So two different things I see of how how Tara survived this is one, maybe Tara is about Ghostface is about to kill Tara, and then potentially someone comes home and he interrupts, you know, the go whoever that is that comes home, maybe a family member, interrupts Ghostface, and that's what stops Ghostface from killing Tara. And then, you know, that's what how Tara survives. Someone interrupts Ghostface. Um, I don't think Tara can get away on her own. Ghostface stomped her leg. He looks like he could even broke it. So I don't think Tara can get away from Ghostface on her own. Um, the other thing, though, that other people have pointed out was, what if Ghostface wasn't intending to kill Tara? What if he was intending to put her in the hospital, really to use her as bait? I think that's also a very, very that could very be a strong possibility as well. So now let's go into press forward. So Tara survives. Now we go to the hospital scene. So we know we're getting a hospital scene. We saw, a, you know, in the trailer, we saw a screenshot uh, or pretty much a scene of someone in a, in a wheelchair. And I couldn't really make out who that character was. Then after people pointed out, that only makes sense if that's Tara. One, Ghostface stomped her leg. It looks like he broke her leg. So it only makes sense that, you know, she is in the wheelchair and she's in the hospital because she was just attacked by Ghostface. And then it would make sense that, you know, that's why Sam's there. So Ghostface pretty much attacks Tara. He puts her in the hospital. She survives. He, she's in the hospital. And this is why, you know, Sam goes to the hospital is because, you know, that Sam, Tara is Sam's sister. So she's going to the hospital to check to see why her sister was almost murdered by Ghostface. And while they're at the hospital at some point, it does look like Ghostface is going to attack them. And it looks like Ghostface at that point, then he might try to actually kill Tara. We also did see in the trailer that we see, um, Sam is running, looks like she's running from Ghostface, and then we see, looks like Dewey show up, and Dewey's trying to fight Ghostface. So it sounds like Dewey is trying to save some of these characters. So it, it kind of, two different things I think could happen. One, you know, maybe, you know, the killer did initially watch to kill Tara. He tried to kill her. Somehow he gets interrupted. Tara lives. So then he shows up to the hospital to finish the job. That's one scenario. The second scenario is... The killer doesn't really, Tara was only used as bait. So he put Tara in the hospital really because he wants to get close to Sam and that's who he's trying to kill. He wants to kill Sam and he's just using Tara as bait. And so that definitely, once I kind of, that definitely to me makes sense that, you know, she's going to survive. And it only makes, one other thing I wanted to say to you as well. We know Jenna, or I know Jenna Ortega was there for all of the filming of this movie. So she was there for the full time. So it doesn't really make sense that she would only be in the open and scene when she was there for all of filming. It would only make sense that she's going to be in the movie a lot more than the open and scene. You look at David Arquette. 
he was only there for a short amount of time for filming. Same thing with um, Courtney Cox and Nev Campbell. They were only there part of time for the filming. They weren't there the full time. Whereas Jenna Ortega was there the full time. So I really truly, truly believe that she is going to be in the movie more than the opening scene. She's going to be in it a lot. And another thing I want to mention is... The trailer did a good job showing the original characters, um, you know, showing Sydney, Gail, Dewey. They were a big part of the trailer, and it showed. It seemed like it showed a lot of their scenes. But we know this movie is going to be focused on the new characters, especially the new actors. They were there the whole time for as far as filming goes. So I think the trailer did not show a lot of their scenes. So I definitely think you know Jenna Ortega her character Tara is going to be in this movie a lot more. They just didn't show the scenes in the trailer. They wanted you to believe that maybe she dies when she really doesn't. So definitely believe she lives and she's, you know, I do think that the killer is potentially using her in bait and he's really after Sam. So next I want to go over to kind of what is the mode killer's motivation? So yes, next I want to go over what is this killer mot motivation? Why is he killing these new characters? And it's something that Sam said in the trailer that really kind of made me think. So Sam says that pretty much the killer is attacking people related to the original killers. I thought that was a weird line and at first I'm thinking like it would make sense if he, she said like the killer's attacking people related to the original killings because then maybe you know he's attacking victims of the original Woodsboro murders like their family members he's attacking. But she said killers. The killer is attacking people related to the original killers. So the way I take that is the killer is attacking people related to Billy and Stu. So that's kind of where I took it. And what's funny is when this was first announced that, you know, you know, we're getting a new Scream movie. And I just was kind of wondering, like, what is the connection between the original murders and this new killer? I kind of speculated that, you know, maybe, you know, there's a Billy love child out there and whoever this love child is, is a killer. And, you know, he looks at Billy and Stu as his like heroes, especially Billy. If Billy is really his dad, that's like his idol. And he's killing people in honor of his dad. That's kind of the way I took it before. And, but now if this new killer is targeting Billy and Stu's family members, maybe it's the opposite. He's not their idol. Maybe this new killer hates Billy and Stu Maybe, so maybe, yeah, maybe this new killer hates Billy and Stu and he's killing people, you know, that related to them because he hates them. So that kind of takes on a whole different turn. And this is where I'm really, I think at this point, speculating. Um, but maybe this new killer, could this new killer be related to one of the original Woodsboro victims? So could this killer be related to someone like Casey Becker? Could this be Casey's, like a new killer, be Casey Becker's family member or something like that? Or maybe another um, character's family member. Um, and he hates what, you know, Billy and Stu did to their loved one. Maybe not. That's pure speculation on my part. But I do kind of starting to think that maybe this new killer hates Billy and Stu. And this is kind of where it goes more into Sam. So... As far as I still kind of believe that there could be a, you know, a love child uh, for Billy. I don't think Billy had a kid with Sydney. I don't think Sydney had a kid with Billy. I just kind of, I don't see that happening. But I do think that, you know, when Billy was with Sydney, there's definitely a chance that maybe he was cheating on Sydney and he had, you know, a kid with someone else. Um, but now, putting this all together, I'm almost kind of thinking that what if... Sam is Billy's daughter. I don't know. Maybe that could be totally way off base on that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking is, what if Sam is Billy's daughter? This new killer knows that Sam is really Billy's daughter. And if you even do the math, I know um, Sam's character is supposed to be around 24, 25. The original, when Billy was murdered, was 25 years ago. So maybe Billy had got someone pregnant right around then. Now Sam is an adult. She's around 25 when a baby born right after those killings would be around 24 or 25 today. So yeah, so I really think that, you know, potentially Sam could be Billy's kid. And I think this killer, if this killer truly hates Billy and Stu, this killer may want to actually kill you know, uh, as far as this, he might want to kill Sam because that's Billy's daughter. And that's how he's, you know, Billy and Stu may have killed their loved one, but he's gonna, they're gonna get revenge because they're gonna kill Sam, Billy's daughter. 
I don't know. That's pure speculation. I could be way off base with that. But just to how the original movies weren't, it's all some kind of family secret is usually what it's about. If you look at the original ones, it was all about Maureen Prescott's secret and what was the secret past that, you know, what these killings started in the first place. So, and now we know that the, you know, these new killings are going to be focused around Sam. And it's kind of like, you know, there has to be some kind of family secret. And who are her parents? So I really, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm thinking right now. I think Sam could potentially be Billy's daughter. But like I said, I could be way off base. I do know that I really do believe that, you know, Jenna Ortega, her character Tara is going to survive, you know, that opening kill. And she will be the character in the wheelchair at the hospital. Now, as far as, you know, Sam being Billy's daughter, that I could be way off base with. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm way off base? Do you think um, I had the killer's motivations down? The killer's killing people related to Billy and Stu because he hates Billy and Stu? Um, do you think I'm wrong on that? Um, I Please leave your comments below. And thank you guys always so much for watching.